Okay, so I'm in my craft room and I was filming this thing for my crafting buddies, my sewing group, and about how I was cleaning out my um, fabric, I guess, and I'm going to catalog and measure it all. Um, and I filmed this little clip, which I will insert here, and it was filmed on my iPhone, so it's the wrong perspective, so I'm sorry, but here's the thing. Okay, so I pulled out all of my fabric. Like, all of it. <laughs> um, and I'm going to try and go through it and decide what I want to keep and what I don't really need. Like, this stuff is crazy awesome, but it's also like, I should not have fabric that sounds like that. <laughs> it might mean it's vinyl. <laughs> um, this is all new fabric over here so I have to like refold that and measure it and then I was gonna catalog it all and I was gonna use some system like this situation but I don't even know if I have enough of these so oi okay so I filmed that and then I thought to myself hey like everybody might want to see this I don't know I don't know how interested people in this channel are in sewing hobby things but um i thought i would show you what i'm doing to destash and like clean out my fabric and how i how i'm cataloging it for the future okay okay so i've divided it into piles and the piles don't make sense to anybody but me but it'll be kind of helpful so this one is all cottons so just like regular cottons um this is like swiss dot and some black swiss dot for some Regency morning situation <laughs> that I'm never gonna make. I mean, is this even photographicable? Yeah, there you go. Um, and then some like white work kind of almost Swiss dotty kind of stuff and then some linen, stuff like that, just basic cottons and stuff. Um, this pile here is stuff that I, of dubious origin. Like, I don't know what this stuff's made out of any of it. I need to burn it to find out, um, and I will do um at some point um but not right now i'm just gonna get a look at right now um, um this is some material that me and my friend amber both bought um and it is definitely like not real at all it's like definitely like basically plastic um but we both thought it would make cute like dickens-ish dresses or whatever it's got this like oh this is the wrong side it's got this like velvet stripe that goes through it I don't know I mean I'm def I'm, I'm sure it's fake but I think it would be cute <laughs> anyway this is some like random trim for a dress I don't even know what this dress is like I don't know so I'm just gonna fold it up and like save it for later I found more bags right there I've and some random corset I'm like is this even my corset like did I borrow this from someone it's possibly like Holly's corset um more of see all this here I found more of that which I'm excited about because I might need that for a jacket um, trim later so I'm stoked um, I don't really know what these these fabrics are either I mean this one's cotton for sure um, this I'm not sure um, I'm trying to figure out if I can use this for 18th century or not so I'm just hanging on to it and I'll measure it these guys here are all like silks or mostly silk silk blends <laughs> um so i just need to figure out how much i have of each one of these for reals because like you tell the guy in the la fabric district to cut you 10 yards but you're like uh, i don't know how much you actually cut this here is some um like corduroy which i don't even know if i want anymore but i'm just hanging on to it just in case everything in this pile right here is like stuff i only have like one or two yards of that like i was like oh, look at this stuff make a corset out of like a lot of this is like when I went to China I got like one meter eat each of like all of these brocades I don't know what that is but it's super cute but like you know stuff like this so basically I can only make a corset out of this um this stuff here I was I bought because I was like oh I could cover a parasol with it okay my husband interrupted me um this is like twill and I'm sure there's some sort of um like what is this yeah that's more twill random cotton 
Um, this is that sheer. I don't even know what fabric this is though. So, um, and then just a couple of random scraps of fabric that I could be using for something. I don't know. I save stuff like this because like, you never know, right? <laughs> um, anyway, um, there's a bolt of muslin there and there's some weird Jack Skellington fabric that I'm like, oh my God, I have a whole bolt. These two fabrics are, I have a lot of, and I got them from my friend Noel. They're both cotton and they're both stripes. They're both like super dirty. So I need to run them through the wash and see how they do. And if they do okay, then cool. I will definitely keep them. And if they don't do okay, then that's also fine. I don't mind getting rid of them. This pile is all the stuff I decided to get rid of. Like, I don't know what the hell that fabric is. Um, all of these fabrics are like really fake. Um, and it's too slippery. That's a pair of jeans. I was like, oh, I can cut that up and make a corset. I mean, I still, I guess I still might keep that. I don't know. Um, you, it, I just gotta see how much, much, I think there's no stretch in it. And if there's no stretch, you can use it jeans to, um, make like your, your toile for your corset. If you want that fabric, I freaking love, but it's so fake. Like it's gonna sweat you out. Like it'll just hurt you. Um, <laughs> This is more silk or silk blend situations that I wanted to keep. Um, and I think that's a sorry. Um, and then this stuff would, I need to trim out a dress with that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, let me show you what I got to deal with this. Okay. All right, here's an example. So I have all these strips that I don't know where I got them. I'm pretty sure they're silk or silk blend because of the way that they're fraying and this here, I'm just pointing at nothing. This here string feels like silk. So I'm folding them into little bundles like that and then I'll put them in a Ziploc baggie like I do the rest of the things that I'm like meh to. So I've made a little card and on this card it says 12, 77 inches by 45, 4.5 inch strips Silk blend question mark. No idea where I got this. So like any commentary. I did it all in pencil so I can get rid of it or change it if I have to. My handwriting is garbage. I understand that. <laughs> but um, it'll at least help me. Like someday I'll be like, oh, I need some trim for something. I wonder if I could do, like, what do I have? And then I might find this and I might be stoked. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep going and I'll show you my progress as I make it. I think this project is going to take a while. So here are all the brocades and I've decided not to catalog these because I know I have one or two meters of each one of these, probably one. Maybe if I was generous, I bought a meter and a half or two. Um, so I thought I would show them to you. I got all these in China. Um, I've been a few times. So this guy's delicious. So there's your traditional Chinese writing. Is there a cat in here? I feel like there's a cat in here. There's a cat in here. What are you doing in here? You should not be in here, princess. Get out, out and out, go on. Seven cats, people, seven. Okay, <laughs> there's this guy. There's your standard black floral. There's this, which I'm like, how can I get this color that's a little bit better? It's like got this like, can you see here, like this gold, Um, you can kind of see it here gold cast to it and it's like lavender and blue. I guess if I move it around that helps. Um, and then this guy, this is one meter for sure and this one's probably two because it's way thicker. Um, and then this guy. And all these are fairly tightly woven silk brocades. Like they cut them and they don't unravel very quickly so I think they're definitely good for corsets. Should I get a pattern that I'm enamored with and want to just bust out a bunch of corsets. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I thought I would show you these while they're out and about. Here's another super interesting fabric. Um, it's this really tightly wound, very heavyweight silk taffeta. Um, but it's ombre. And it's ombre on both edges. And it, you would think it was bleached, but no, it's actually dyed that way. Thought this would make a really beautiful corset someday. Um, I have a couple of pieces like this. 
I think this sky right here is a lot more of it, but it's a darker, richer, like red, red brown color. So I'm gonna see what that is later. But I thought that was really interesting. I actually do have a bunch of like very interesting fabrics in here. Okay, we're on day two. Uh, day, I don't think I showed you what I got done yesterday. So I have all my small cuts there, some of which have cards, but most of which don't. And then I started another pile of whatever fabric, I don't know, <laughs> not silk <laughs> um, stuff. So I did that yesterday. This is gonna take me some time. I've also decided I hate this system. Like I violently hate it. I will have to continue it briefly. I meanwhile have ordered a two inch um, three ring binder. It's actually a small one. So it's eight and a half by five and a half. So it's half the size of a normal sheet of paper. And I've ordered cardstock sheets to go in it, a hole punch and some tabs so I can like organize it a little bit. But I think a binder is gonna be better than this. I just, I thought about this all day and I just freaking hate it. So anyway, I'm gonna continue folding. Um, these are the ones that we got yesterday. So this is some sort of, I don't even know what fabrics these are. This one's really weird because it has this weird interior. This one is like waxed almost. <laughs> and this one, I made a corset out of a while ago and it was lovely. Um, anyway, I'm just keeping these around in case I want to use them for anything. Even like this guy down here and maybe even this guy could be used as like a stiffening fabric at some point if they needed to. as like an interior lining. That would be fine for like a jacket or something. Um, but I don't know what I want to do with all these. I'm just hanging on to them. Oh, I did fold this guy. I also got that guy going. I love this fabric. It is so fugly. And it has this like actual velvet. It's not actual velvet, it's like shitty cotton. But <laughs> um, this is velvet like cross hatching. And I don't know, you can see like the dots in this are really cute. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's so horrible, I love it. All right, here's where we're at. We got these small flat folds here, um, larger unknown origin things, although that one on the top is cotton. Um, this is all the cottons, not all the cotton stuff, some of it. It's the um, like miscellaneous pile of like strengthening fabrics and then also like lawn and stuff. So like very heavy and very thin. This is all Swiss dot. That is Swiss dot and a cotton that's trying really hard to be linen, which it isn't, and there's a little space in there. And then this is like mm, batting and stuff that I use for hat making. So we got one cabinet fully, fully done. Um, <clears throat> the table looks a lot better. Um, I can't do more than like an hour of this at a time before it like starts killing me. So we got some silks left. Um, that's a misc. That's a misc. This is definitely not silk, but it's pretty, so it might be a hat someday. <laughs> uh, probably not silk. Um, this is all cottons. And then we still have this monster pile of random silks to deal with. Um, and then, of course, there's that situation. Oh, for anyone who wants to know about this, this is my cutting table. Um, it comes up to... I don't know, like, my belly button, I guess. Um, and this is four, one, two, three, and then four Ikea cabinets. Oh, these are Christmas presents. Um, <laughs> Ikea cabinets, um, just kitchen cabinets, and then I chose the, like, four-inch legs to put on them, but you can make them as high as you want. Like, you can make this table higher or lower if you wanted to just by changing the legs that are on the cabinets. And they have... Um, a cabinet and you can put as many shelves on you as you want in there I put three and then they have a drawer um, which mine are stuffed to the brim um, in them each so they can hold all sorts of stuff and then the top is two Ikea countertops and you could screw this all together if you wanted to but I don't <laughs> I just leave them um, so this is two countertops you can see the slit between them um, and I just chose the wood ones. And it's pretty massive. Like, I mean, as you can see, this is a 55 inch cutting mat <laughs> right here. And it doesn't go all the way to the edge. You can see it still has a bunch. So 
I think this table's like 72 inches long or something like that. And then, uh, what does that say? 33, like 52 inches wide. I don't know, it's huge. Anyway, <laughs> it takes up the majority of this room, but I love it because I can work with fabric and also still piles of stuff on here without it being a problem. So anyway, that's the cutting table. So we're in better shape and I will keep at it. Next week I am out of town. So I don't know if I'll finish this before I go, um, because I don't know if I have time every night to work on this, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm hoping so. I would really love it if this was done so that I can come back and rep presents in here. Oh, the best thing about this table is not that you can cut really easily on it. It's that you can wrap really easily on it. So, uh, highly recommend this for anybody. And you could also, if you wanted to, just do half of this and put it up against a wall and it would make a really great... Like just get one countertop and two um, kitchen cabinets or even three kitchen cabinets if you don't want the space. I just have a space here in case I want to put a stool and sit there. Although at this point I might just get more countertops. I don't know. <laughs> or sorry, cabinets. Um, anyway, that's a little bit about that. Okay, we are done with day three of doing this. <laughs> Um, I actually spent like three hours doing this tonight. Um, I decided to, I got rid of all of the stuff that's donation and the stripey fabric was stained and kind of meh, so I just got rid of it. Um, this cotton still needs to be folded, whatever that is still needs to be folded. And I got through all the silk that's here and half the silk that was here. So this guy is full. So I. I did like I think all of this tonight so these are silks that are kind of small here and these are getting bigger cuts and then these are all pretty big so I sort of just let them be in there I might put some more in there and then that stuff like this was too wide so I just put in all the bags of extra like trim and stuff that I have in there I just keep them in Ziploc bags so that's that um, and then I got some stuff in here too um, oh, I just did these. Put that guy in there and then I folded this one. Um, this is my robe anglaise um, and my stays. That's a stays wrap. I don't even know if any of this stuff fits. So at some point I'll have to pull that out and like iron the crap out of it and see how it goes. <laughs> but I need, you know, ladies maids for that. So we'll see. Anyway, making progress. Uh, I think one more day should really do it. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, but... We'll see. Tomorrow I have plans, so I don't know if I'll get much done tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, this is day four. Is that right? I finally got all these soaks done. I got the wool done. And all of those are in here. The wool is right there, and all these silks are here. Um, I decided I wanted to wait on this stuff just to show it to you. Um, I have this cute... Edward Gorey fabric that I got. I think I have like one or two yards of this. I think it's really expensive. I think I got this at Michael Levine. Um, I just thought it was super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but thought someday I'll find something. And then let me spread this guy out because this one's pretty amazing. So I have two yards of this and, or the two meters actually. And I thought one day I might actually use this on a bustle dress <laughs> um, as the bustle. I'm not sure, I'll have to see. But I got this in Hawaii and I found it at this little Japanese store and they didn't have, like that wasn't a fabric store, they just happened to have this fabric and a couple others. So I bought this just thinking it was absolutely stunning. And I thought it would make an awesome bustle someday. We'll see. Okay, lastly, I got this pile done. There are two more folds of fabric to measure. I think they're both like 10 yards or so, but I like, I just don't have it in me. My fingers like hurt from like pinching fabric for so long and like doing this. So I'm just gonna come back tomorrow because I'm working from home tomorrow so I can do this at my leisure and um, I'm gonna finish up those last two. Um, interestingly, this I got in Hawaii. Also, it's a native Hawaiian print. And it was designed in my mind for a Hawaiian bustle dress, so we'll see how that goes. Um, otherwise, as you can see, I'm all done. I'm going to put this away in the cabinet. 
the, the cabinet that's like back there um, tonight. And then I should be all done with this. Um, this box, I freaking hate it. I hate this system. I hate everything about it. Um, <laughs> so uh, tomorrow my, my binder is coming, so I'll show you that when I'm done. And then I think we're good. Okay. Okay, we're done. All the fabric is away. And I have changed my strategy. So let me show you this before I sign off. Um, instead of this nonsense, which doesn't make any sense, I just got dividers and I put them into this book. And these are planned projects. So, like, I have eight yards of this and three yards of this and six yards of this. Um, they're all cotton and um, other notes. Like, I have matching ball trim and then all the fabric. Same for this guy. Stuff like that. So for anything that I've planned, I have made like a little swatch page. And then I have them split up into silks and that just gives the length like what I wanted to do with it. Maybe um, what it's made out of, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I have cottons um, down here. And then I have other fabrics. These are pretty pitiful. But I left room to like write more in so I can just put the title of whatever the topic is and you know, uh, the topic, the title of the dress or whatever it is and then I'll put more stuff in here. Um, and then I have a bunch of blank cards still. Um, so I think this like method will work a lot better. It made, like this makes a lot more sense to me than that other thing I was doing, so great. And I'm calling this project successful and complete. Um, oh, it's actually a lie. I'm, I'm not to complete. The reason I have one in here is because in my closet I actually have a couple of um, uh, rolls of fabric, which tomorrow I'll go through and swatch and stuff. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me. This was super fun. Um, it was a lot of work, but it made my OCD happy. Um, and... That is all a girl can ask, so now I feel like I can start working on projects. Okay, till next time. See you guys later. Like and subscribe. All the usual. Bye.